Hey, the chapter 13.5, the law of sines. So this here is our law of sines. A over sine A equals B over sine B equals C over sine C. So our lowercase variables are the sides, so the side A and side B, etc. And our uppercase are the angle values. So we have angle A, B, and C. So if we're looking at our triangle, we have A over sine A, B over sine B, and C over sine C. So we're told to solve for our triangle ABC. We need to identify that we have our angle C, B, and our side of B. So first we need to find what our angle A is. This is our missing angle out of all three. So we can use the fact that all angles in a triangle add up to 180, subtract the other two angles, and we get the third angle. So angle A equals 48. Next we can plug this into our law of sines. So we have uh, side A over sine 48 equals B which is 15 over sine 25. Now we can either solve just this left side of the law or we can add on that C is over sine 107 using all of our given information. So we can solve that A equals 15 sine 48 over sine 25. Simplified, this is equal to 26.4. Now we solve the C side of this law, and we get 15 over sine 25, which is the B. It's just the B over sine B, that part. And simplified, we get 15 sine 107 over sine 27, and excuse me, 25. And I'm getting this from the fact that we're multiplying both sides by sine 107 to get C by itself. This is why we have 15 sine 107. And we simplify this to get 33.9. So now we know all of our remaining sides and angles that we didn't know here. We know our sides A and B, and we know our angle A. So this is a very similar problem, except we're just given the values of angle A, side A, and angle B, excuse me, and side B. So we need to draw our triangle. So let's draw our triangle with these values. We have I'll start over. We have our angle of 115 and connect these A and then we have B and C now we know that B equals 11 and A equals 20 so we're going to solve with our um, fuck. this is also I didn't mention the side side angle case or the ambiguous case in which we're flipping our law of sines and using it to find angles instead of finding sides. So we, we have sine b over 11 equals to sine 115 over 20. b equals 29.9. So this is also called the ambiguous case because we can have a triangle with the SSA case and have two solutions. So this problem here, we have our angle A, which has 40 degrees, a side B of 16, and a side A of 13. So we can draw this two different ways. So we have A, B, and C, with this being 40 degrees, and 16 and 13. Now we can also draw this like this. in which this is once again A, B, and C, and this is 40 degrees, B is 16, and A is 13. So we, you can use the law of sines to find the possible measures of B. So sine B over 16 equals sine 40 over 13. Therefore sine B equals 16 sine 40, 
over 13 because we multiply both sides by 16. This simplifies to 0 0.7911. So we take the inverse sine of this, so we get 52.3 to find the number of degrees of angle B. Now we can have either 52.3 as the measure of angle B, or we can have 180 minus 52.3, which is 127 7. Therefore, B can either be this value or this value. This is because there are two angles B between 0 and 180 for which sine B equals 0 0.7911. And these are the two angles that I have drawn here. So this would be our angle greater than 100, and this would be our angle that is 52. Now we would plug each of these values in to our remaining formula to find our angle C.